Hey guys, I have a new deck profile for you. It's Gladiator Beast. Yes, another updated build. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've just I just picked up a capture card, so I've been doing some gaming videos and all that. So expect to see one to two videos a week on that sort of stuff, and I'll still do you know one to two videos a week on Yu-Gi-Oh. So I just want to reach all the viewers out there that I can. So, but uh, anyways, let's go to the deck profile the monster lineup we have three LaCroix now I'm running three just because it's basically the one of the better monsters you can have uh, and it gives you the better chance or the best chance to win the game just because it has 1800 attack 2100 when you bring them out and that's something you know your opponents you know, gonna have to deal with, so, uh, and especially if you have the GB War Chariot, then you'll be looking good, because that's the best setup you can have, besides ha having, a uh, Heraklinos out, and most times, if you make a Geysers, you're gonna be tagging it out, so, uh, yeah, it's just solid at three, plus, once you see the rest of my monster line up, it'll kind of make sense. Uh, two E-Quest, just because your GBs can't always, like, survive every battle and every back row and all that, so you're going to be reviving them. Plus, you get your chariots back. Two hop Uh The card's just very, very good right now. Uh, I'll kind of get into that a bit here. Uh, one Darius. I'm not running any Prismas, so just one Darius is fine. Uh, just helps you revive stuff a little more. Uh, most times you'll tag out for the Darius and then, uh, you know, maybe main phase two, summon a GB or something, and then like contact out because you don't really want to keep two monsters out there. Uh, and what I mean by that is the Darius and the Equip. Uh, one Bestiari, gotta run it. One Mermillo. When ready, Ari. I kind of wanted to run two, but I'm siding the second one. Uh, and then one Sam Knight. Uh, I still run Sam Knight just because you want that quick access to Chariot. Uh, and then also, uh, what you call it? I'm running such a low amount of monsters. Uh, I'll be getting to that as well. Uh, three Book of Moon. Proving ground. So essentially, I am running 15 monsters, I believe. But the reason I'm doing it this way is first of all, GBs cannot win a game if they open up like three or four monsters. So I tried to cut down on that as much as possible. There's 12 here, I believe, plus three spell cards. So you can count the monster lineup however you want. So uh, some people actually consider them spells i consider monsters just because you're playing it you're getting the monster uh plus it also thins out your deck so that's very good uh and another good reason why you should run the proving grounds right now is you have a quick access to hop Lamas if you know you start off with a weak hand and you know you want to go and set that for you know some protection or something like that uh plus you just have more ways to best Yari. And that's always good. So, uh, yeah, like I said, opening up three or four monsters while using GB, it's certainly not fun. Uh, and as you can see, I'm not running any Test Tigers, just because all the decks out there run three Book of Moons main deck, basically at least. Uh, Solemn Warning hurts. Uh, so, it's just you know, not amazing right now. I mean, you could still use it if you want, but I just think it's more consistent this way, playing it like a straight toolbox. So, uh, two Mystical Space Typhoon, basic destruction, basic destruction, two Smashing Ground, Dark Hole, Reborn, and My Body as a Shield. I was running two traps done, but I like the one My Body as a Shield just because you can draw it from your deck and that'll allow you to you know, do stuff on the board. Now, you won't be able to negate, like, Solemn Morning, but you'll be able to negate basically everything else that isn't a counter trap. So, you can negate Bottomless, Mirror Force, Torrent. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot out there. So, uh, Yeah, that's the spell lineup. Uh, the trap lineup. Three War Chariot. You have to run three. I'd never run less than three. Uh, 
I mean, most people hate when you open up too, but I mean, that's fine. It's whatever. Uh, you can work around it and make it work for you. So, uh, 2D prison, more destruction. Two warning. If I had three, I would run three just because, especially in a deck like Gladiator Beast, uh, if you use a card like Bottomless Trap Hole, well, what's GB's biggest uh, fear? And that's Stardust Dragon. Well, the Bottomless Trap Hole isn't going to do anything, but the Solemn Warning certainly will. Pay two grand, gone. Simple as that. Uh, it just helps to get threats out of the way without having to worry about, oh, well, I'll play uh, D Prison, and then if your opponent plays Trap Stun or something, then you're done. So uh, at least, you know, they're get, you're going to make them play their cards first. And then, you know, if you have like a Book of Moon or something face down, then, you know, you can put in work. Uh, two Bottomless Trap Hole, Tarantula, Mirror Force, Solemn. Uh, the one Trap Stun, Starlight Road, just because I set so many cards. And the last card is my tech, and it's one copy of Icarus Attack. Now, I run this because uh, GB Equest is a winged beast. I run two of that. Uh, Bestiari, I run that. Uh, Geyseris, I run three of those in my extra deck. Plus, I run three Proving Grounds. So, I'm going to have... Oh, plus, you know, just having a regular GB and tagging out for a Winged Beast. So, I have so many ways to it, and I kind of don't understand why, you know, people don't try this card out. Now, you don't want to run more than one. I mean, maybe two, but just because the deck isn't really built like that, but it's nice to be able to do a nice two for two, and then next turn summon a GB attack, and then tag out for E-Quest, and get whatever you tributed off back. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's a deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll try and do more deck profiles. Uh, if any of you guys out there have a deck profile that you want to feature on my channel, you can send it my way, and if it's good enough, then I will put it up. Uh, I just ask that, you know, you have a decent amount of subs. I don't really want to give a profile to someone who only has like 10 or like 50 or 100 subs or something like that. I'd want it to be something decent, like, you know, like 500, maybe a grand or something like that. And then, you know, you can help me out by giving me a few shout outs. I mean, it's only fair. It's not like I'm charging for, you know... Uh, you guys to put the videos up on my channel. So uh, that's it though guys. Peace